This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command pistol. It's a 45 caliber pistol with plenty of stopping power. It's also equipped with a LAM for nighttime combat. If you hold down the weapon button, you can train the laser sight on the enemy to help you aim. If you find a SOCOM suppressor, you can equip that too. That pistol was designed specifically for use by special forces, so I think it will be useful. Some people find it a little heavy and hard to use, but it shouldn't be a problem for you. That is a FAMAS. It is a bullpup-style assault rifle. It is durable and easy to use. Very resistant to overheating, it is a reliable weapon with smooth action. It can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute. On full auto, you will empty a 25-round magazine in a few seconds. You found some grenades. Just pull the pin and it explodes after five seconds. You can get a lot done during those five seconds, Snake. How you use them is up to you. Remote-controlled miniature reconnaissance missiles, sometimes called Nikita missiles. They've got CCD cameras in their nose cones. After you fire them, they'll transmit their visual data to your monitor. You can control their flight freely in all directions. But the missiles have a limited amount of fuel. Watch the gauge carefully. Press the first person view button to see the missile's visual data. Use them wisely. found Stinger missiles. Great! They're equipped with a thermal homing device, so once they've locked on, they will automatically pursue the target. To lock on, all you have to do is line up the crosshairs. Stingers are very potent, short-range, low-altitude SAMs. In Afghanistan, the Mujahideen shot down hundreds of Soviet aircraft with them. In fact, they were forced to change their tactics. One of my favorite horror books is called Stinger. And my favorite cocktail is a Stinger. I guess you could say I've got a thing for Stingers. Those are Claymore mines. Unlike other mines, which are planted underground, Claymores are set up above ground and are designed to produce maximum damage in a wide fan-shaped area. When they go off, they spray 700 1.2 millimeter steel pellets in a 60 degree pattern, much like an oversized shotgun. Traditionally, claymores use a tripwire to set them off, but those claymores are a new type. They are camouflaged using the new stealth technology and are equipped with sophisticated motion detectors. That is C4 explosive. 
a plastic explosive with a texture similar to clay, so you can shape it in almost any way you want. Although it has 1.4 times the destructive power of dynamite, it is highly stable and won't explode without a detonating device, even if it is shot, burned, or beaten. You are using a wireless detonator, yes? The detonator is equipped with a scrambler, so you don't have to worry about interference from any other radio source. Make sure you are sufficiently far enough away when it goes off. Also, as you know, the sound of the explosive will alert your enemies, so be careful. Those are stun grenades. They are often used in sensitive operations such as freeing hostages and that sort of thing. Sometimes they are called flashbangs or sound and flash grenades. They make a big flash and lots of noise, which will disorient and disable your opponents, temporarily. You have to understand that they won't kill the bad guys, but just stun them for a few seconds. Use them wisely. That's a chaff grenade. It's a special grenade that disperses thin, narrow metallic strips of various lengths and frequency responses. It can confuse electronic equipment. It will be useful against machines which depend upon electronic sensors. Naturally, for it to be effective, you must use it before you are attacked. If you are expecting an attack, spread the chaff beforehand. One, one of the best sniper rifles in the world. It is accurate enough to shoot cleanly through a 2.5 centimeter square from a distance of 100 meters. Unlike other sniper rifles, the PSG-1 is not bolt action. It is semi-automatic. Its best feature is that it allows for rapid fire. When you are shooting over long distances, the slightest tremble can make you miss your target by inches. Try to keep your hands as still as possible. That stuff that is flowing in those ditches on the first floor must be radioactive nuclear wastewater. You better stay away from it. You are already exposed enough just by being in that area. Any further exposure could be fatal. This place does not have a nuclear processing facility. It must be some other kind of nuclear material that is leaking, besides the dismantled nuclear warheads. Probably spent nuclear fuel or something. Anytime fuel is burned in a nuclear reactor, it will always produce, as a waste product, some spent fuel mixed with highly toxic radioactive compounds. Spent nuclear fuel stays radioactive for 300 years. In other words, this material will remain lethal for the next three centuries. 